Baby Ephraim was found dead in an Indianapolis dumpster back in 2000. Senator Jim Merritt crafted a law to give parents of unwanted children another option. It became the safe haven law, and twice in the last 12 days, it has been employed to perfection. RTV6's Derek Thomas reports. Since the safe haven law was enacted in the year 2000, 32 babies have been surrendered, the latest at this firehouse on Friday. Fire Station 13 is a safe place, and a female in her 20s brought her 30-day-old baby boy to the station. The child was clean, fed, content, and uninjured, all requirements under the safe haven law. The author of that law is proud. Well, I think it's fantastic. Um, obviously, that baby's life could have been in danger. Number one, two, the system works. Uh, three, people know about the law. And four, uh, we, we might have just saved a life. Soon the child will be placed up for adoption. Pictures of children available for adoption are on the Department of Child Services website. But it is an extensive process. No one is going to be able to adopt a child until they've gone through the proper uh, training program that we offer, as well as the background checks have been complete and their home inspection is complete. So regardless, I mean, it's going to take somebody at least four to six months to go through that training. The number of babies surrendered under the safe haven law seems to be accelerating. On March 2nd, a baby was dropped off at Fire Station 30 on North Tibbs, and another baby was dropped off at a Lafayette hospital in January. It must be an excruciating decision to surrender a baby, but at least they know now they can go to this safe place. Derek Thomas, RTV6. And if you are interested in adopting, you can call the Department of Child Services at 1-888-25-ADOPT.